I'm okay. Normal, I guess. Why? Did you do something that would make me sick? I just took a peek inside your head is all. Inside my head? Dream? What are you talking about? The subject of the sink does not experience Somnium as you do. Iris would not know about it. Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. You haven't? I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. Iris, let me ask one thing. The message Ota sent you on Nile. I won't tell anyone about that thing. What is that thing? I don't know. Ota's the one who wrote that. You should ask him. Iba, Ota's phone is still broken, right? But he definitely sent that Nile message. Ota purchased a new phone in Akihabara yesterday. With the same number? Yes. Call it. Connected. Hey, it's Kaname Date. Where are you? Ota, I know you can hear me. At home. I'm at home. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Is Tessa still at the police station? Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. Criminal Procedure Law Number 198. Persons may refuse to heed a summons or leave the supervision of the police at any time unless they are arrested or detained. Tessa isn't a suspect. According to Article 223, this applies to all persons of interest. You haven't issued an arrest warrant for Tessa, right? So if you don't release her right now, you are violating the law. <sighs> Damn. Do we have a deal? You want my testimony, right? Bring Tessa here, and I promise I'll tell you everything I know. This kid is starting to get on my nerves. So, what are you going to do? Shit. Iris, come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? Yeah, telepathically. I have special powers. Anyway, let's go. Tessa! Thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. It's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. Maybe not, but you better keep your promise. Yeah, I did. Yesterday in Akihabara. She's in the living room in the back. I think she's watching TV or something. Okay. Did you come all the way here just to ask me that? I was nervous thinking about Tessa. I couldn't stop imagining what dirty, perverted dojin plots you were acting out with her. As long as I am in your eye socket, that won't happen. Wouldn't happen anyway. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... Date, will you do me a favor? What? There's a picture on the counter, right? 
Yeah, and? I want you to take a good look at it. The photo. Yes, the photo. It's pounding. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday, 2.50 a.m. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. Ota got me, didn't he? He did. He struck you over the head with the walk. Ah, <sighs> little bastard. Why did he do that? I don't know. But afterward, he ran off with Iris. How do you know? You had lost consciousness, but I was still watching. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car. You witch! You, you stay away from my boy! Happen? No, everything's fine. Okay, let's go. Why didn't you chase them? I'm sorry. You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short-circuited by the blow to your head. <sighs> Date, the boss is calling. Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... Oh. Just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus! We need to get to the site, now! Hold on! I'll 
save you! Hota! Stay away from Tessa! Uh! Dante, we've almost reached the destination. Please, please let me make it in time. Where did they go? Through the back door. Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. Don't worry. Iris is alive. Backup is en route to this location. Date, pursue the culprit. All right, I'm on it. Any traces of the culprit? Still nothing. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. 